All right, everybody, this is Katrina, the owner of COS Marketing Agency. We are a small marketing agency here in Central Florida, serving small to mid-sized businesses, uh, mostly in Central Florida, but many are in different parts of the country as well. Our goal is to help our clients fulfill their marketing needs, social media, SEO, uh, websites, ad campaigns, the whole nine yards. We are a full service digital marketing company. If you are watching us on YouTube, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the description for other videos that might be helpful, other tutorials that you may benefit from. This is going to be specifically about press releases um, and how we um, essentially set them up and send them off to our team uh, to post online. So a press release is a full page, with us at least, a press release is a full page um, news article where uh, we get our clients placed in anywhere between 50 to 100 different news organizations. Again, these are full page articles that go into information about our clients on various different topics. Sometimes they're you know, news of the day or news of the week or month. Other things are kind of explaining their services. Other things can be grand openings or just general uh, press releases about, you know, their methodology um, and their uh, point of focus as a company, the, the things that they believe in, stuff like that. Really, you can do a press release on a whole host of, of topics. It's really just about getting in the news, having the proper keywords when you do so, which create backlinks. These backlinks you can also put on um, or these websites, these news websites, rather, you can also use those badges and put it on your social media pages and your website to add more credibility to your brand. Those backlinks connect to Google and it's essentially kind of like giving Google an espresso shot. It boosts your search recognition um, because to Google, it's kind of a popularity contest. You are the company that you keep with Google. So if you're associated with news organizations, especially several of them, it juices you up on search. That's a quick crash course on the topic. Again, there's gonna be some things in the description for you to look at related to this topic and a lot more. So one of our team members was kind enough to make this press release for us. I'm gonna go ahead and check it over um, and then I will send it off to the client to look at. Um, so this is about uh, resume writing and their job preparation. So this is related to their services for employees. They're an HR company that works directly with the company itself or helps the uh, employees on the employee side of things get jobs or have a better experience on the job. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is check the word count. I did kind of read over this briefly before, so I know it is mostly good. I'm just showing you my process. This is 517 words, which means it's on target for the amount of words you want for a press release which is usually about four or 500 minimum. You don't wanna make it too much longer than that because people tend to lose interest and it's not necessarily going to get you more in terms of search recognition anyway. So I'm just gonna kind of skim this and read this uh, briefly um, on screen. I did read through this top to bottom before I set up this video chat. I made in some notes in, with my team here on Google Drive so they know uh, when this needs to be scheduled and what date to put on the press release. I'm just gonna check a few things here. Actually, okay, I just wanted to check if the name was spelled correctly. We're abbreviating their business, which is fine because they have a long name. A lot of it is gonna be abbreviated. All right, pretty simple and straightforward about their employee services. Again, I read all of this before I did this recording, just kind of going over and showing it with you. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in um, some more photos into our press release album for the month. As you can see here, there's some uh, photos that have not been used yet, but we're going to get some more um, just so that they have some extras and that are a little bit more employee related specific. We get all of our uh, photos from Envato. Unfortunately, we don't have a partnership to get you guys a discount with Envato. We're gonna look into that and talk to Envato if they don't have that. Um, but I do recommend it. It's a stock photo site. Um, I don't know if they have a free version to be honest because we need a lot of content. I did get the paid version. I believe it's only about 120 for the year. And you can get stock videos, templates, music, sound effects, graphics, photos, obviously all kinds of stuff, fonts. I mean. 
this is constantly being updated, thousands and thousands of different new things every single day. Um, so we're going to go into, we're already in the photo section here. So we're going to go to employee because that's what the topic is. It's the best way to start. And then I'm going to call the album, your resume partner and job for job preparation. Here we go here. Actually, that was supposed to be a quotation. I took out the quotation. All right. So I'm going to close this and we're going to look at this one's good. That one's good. Just anything that's like, okay, this is obviously more employee centric, people who have badges like this, it makes sense. This is not really like for managers. This is for employees or maybe lower level managers specifically. Most of what we do is related to the actual employer, but the fact that they have employee services, we want to do highlight every once in a while. Um, because it's, it's all about, you know, tackling multiple verticals and everything, all that good stuff. Uh, let's see that. Cause there's multiple people in the background. Um, we don't need too many more pictures. I believe we're able to put five pictures and one of which is always, uh, their logo. So it's not like we need a lot more, anything that they don't use in the press release when they schedule it will be used uh, for posts potentially, or for um, other, you know, other press releases in the future. So we're going to download this, we're going to create a new project. We're going to add and download. Add and download. Add and download. Add and download. Once again, add and download. Now, while I'm thinking about it, we want to optimize our time, right? We're going to go to Canva. We're just going to open up um, any of these sections here. This happens to be one of uh, her videos that we just did. We're going to add in these stock photos that we just pulled so that when we edit content, they're ready in Canva for us to use. Canva is the primary editing tool that we use. We do not have um, a discount program for Canva. Unfortunately, uh, they have a very limited access on who can join to get those kind of deals. I was actually very surprised about that. But at any rate, I would recommend it. It's only $20 a month, or I think it's like $100 a year if you pay for the year. This is all very cost effective stuff. Um, we have other tools, but Canva has uh, far and away taken up what we, as far as our time, goes what we uh, what we use typically for our clients. So there you have it. Um, this is our quick course on press release, um, checking and optimization. I'm going to go ahead and put in some page numbers just so that the client sees that there's a nice little touch right there. And then we're going to go ahead and send it off to them along with the photos that we are going to put in here. So let's go ahead and say new folder. We're going to say resume preparation photos or let's do this uh let's do that and then we're gonna do let's go here it's kind of doing some rearranging and organizing with this there we go we're gonna put that in there and that's loading in there we're gonna pause this and then let's make sure that we're on the right one rename Innovations, HR. So this is the one that we're currently on or we're currently using right last edited today. So we're going to take this, move it on up, move it on up to here. And then we're going to move it. We're going to rename. We're going to stay here. Copy, hit OK. Let's make another sub album. Your small business HR option right there in the middle. Actually, let's do this. Let's get rid of their title there so it's just easier to read. There we go. All right, so we're going to do this. Shift, boom. Move, shift, boom, move. 
move, shift, there. We could use the pictures of her with any of these blogs. Using that multiple times is good because she is literally and figuratively the face of the company. All right, so now we are good to close that and then share this with the client. All right, thank you guys so much. Um, this again was a press release optimization and um, content kind of crash course, little quick tutorial here I wanted to make for you guys. Um, if you're watching on YouTube again, please remember to like, share and subscribe. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.